this embryology model shows development of tongue. Tongue will develop mainly from two lingual swellings, tuberculum impar and hypobranchial eminence or cupola. These are the main sources. These two lingual swellings and tuberculum impar united and forms the anterior two third of tongue. Then this is hypobranchial eminence or cupola. This hypobranchial eminence divided into cranial part and caudal part. Cranial part will form the posterior one third of tongue and caudal part is going to form the epiglottis. So these are the different embryological structures which are going to form the tongue. So see here this is developed tongue. These are the two lingual swellings fused along with tuberculum part is going to form the anterior two third of tongue. Then posterior one third of tongue formed by cranial part of hypobranchial eminence or cupola. Epiglottis is formed by caudal part of hypobranchial eminence. Two lingual swellings and tuberculum part. These are derived from the first pharyngeal arch. Because of that anterior two third of tongue supplied by lingual nerve. Of course, it is a branch of mandibular nerve and cauda tympani. One is pre-traumatic, another one is post-traumatic nerves. Then if you see posterior one third, it is developed from the third pharyngeal arch. That is what posterior one third of tongue supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve. And the epiglottis and posterior most part of the tongue, which is developed from the fourth pharyngeal arch. That is what epiglottis and posterior most part of the tongue supplied by vagus nerve. Part of the tongue developed from the second pharyngeal arch buried underneath the part of the tongue which is developed from the third pharyngeal arch. Muscles of tongue developed from the occipital somites. See here, these two are the lingual swellings and this is tuberculum impar. Behind that, you can see the foramen cecum. Of course, you must be aware of it. From the foramen cecum, there will be invagination which will be going down and forms the thyroid gland. Actually, it endoderm of foramen cecum invaginated and forms the thyroglossal duct. Thyroglossal duct is going to form the thyroid gland. This is the development of tongue.